verse 4, verses 4 to 6. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 to 8. If you have your Bible, please read with me. It's on the screen. Shall we read together? Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Amen. This is the love Paul is talking about. And Paul says, pray for this love to grow in you. I know your love is impatient. I know your love is going down in your marriage. I know your love is going down in your relationship. Now it is time for you to pray for God's love to grow. To grow. They were a loving people, but Paul wanted them to abound in love. Abound in love more and more, more and more. Paul says, this is the key. This is the key. So that the world may know that you are my disciple. That's what in that prayer. Today I proclaim my God's servant in big and square. I receive God's love. This is what Paul says in Romans chapter 5 verse 5. God has poured out his love into my heart by the Spirit of God. This can be possible only with God through prayer. Are you working at loving your wife? Are you working, really working? Are you working, really loving your husband? Loving someone? And Paul says, pray. I know it is hard for you, but pray. So that you can proclaim today that you are God's child. You are God's child. Dear friends, is our love growing more and more or going down? Going down. This is the key. This is the key. That's what Paul said. Everything will disappear one day, but not love. This is God's love I am talking about. This is not human love. My love is unkind. My love is always proud. My love does not trust. My love is easily angered. Are you getting easily angered? It is time to ask God to pour His love into your heart. Someone is not loving you. You pray for God's love to grow in that heart. And you will see the transformation you will see the transformation and you will say, Lord, thank you for answering my prayer. It is time to make a commitment. I am going to pray for God's love to grow in me, grow in my heart. I want God's love to grow in my family, grow in my marriage, grow in my church. I want God's love to grow. Let us, let us include this prayer, my dear friends. Let us include this prayer every time we pray. Lord, this is my prayer. As Paul prayed, I pray, Lord, this is my prayer. I want your love to grow in me more and more. More and more. I want your love to grow in my family. In my workplace, Lord. In my church, Lord. I want your love to grow. Abound more and more. Paul says when we pray, this love begins to grow, expand, and overflow, my dear friend. Amen? Overflow. When you begin to pray, when everyone prays, what is happening? God's love begins to overflow in FCF. God's love begins to overflow in ESC. God's love begins to overflow in Nepali Fellowship. God's love begins to overflow in this compound. God's love begins to overflow in PC world. What is an amazing thing. We need to pray. Today I receive God's love. 
I declare God's blessings, miracles, healings. I proclaim that I am a servant of God. It is time to say, Lord, I cannot do it, Lord. I'm struggling in my love in this area. I'm struggling, Lord. I need your help. I trust in you. I want to grow in your love, Master. I want to grow in my love for you and in my love for my family members, my husband, my wife, my parents, or my church member. But Lord, help me. Help me, Lord. I surrender everything to you. I surrender everything to you. Love is kind, Lord. I want to be kind. Love is patient, Lord. I want to be patient. Love is not easily angered, Lord. This is the love I want to have. Love does not boast, Lord. This is the love I want to have. Love always trusts, Lord. This is the love I want to have in my, in my home. This is the love. Love always trusts, always perseveres, always protects, never fails. Never fails. Has somebody's love failed? Pray for that person. I encourage you to pray because our God is a prayer answering God. Amen? Our God is a prayer answering God. And what God has said in His Word, He will do it. When we approach God with humility, approach God with obedience and faith, He listens to our prayers and He begins to act. And we will see marvelous and wonderful things. And that will be peace. Where there is God's love, there is peace. Where there is God's love, there is joy. Where there is God's love, there is restoration. Where there is God's love, there is healing. Where there is God's love, there is God's favor. Could you all stand with me? Let us close our eyes before we participate in the Lord's table. Let us think about our love for God and love for one another. Dear brothers and sisters, it is time to pray. It is time to pray that our love for God would grow. Our love for our family members, spouses would grow and abound, overflow. God has poured His love into our hearts. Oh dear sister, God has poured his love into your heart. Dear brother, God has poured his love into your heart by his spirit. Love is kind. Love is patient. Love does not delight in evil. Love does not keep record of wrongs. Love does not do that God's love. God's love never fails. God's love trusts. Dear friends, if we have failed, in our love for God and love for one another, it is time to say, Lord, I come back to you. I come back to you, Lord. I want, I want to grow in my love for you. I want to grow in my love for my wife, for my husband. Lord, I want to grow in love, Lord. I want to experience your touch, Lord, tonight. I want to experience peace. I want to experience joy. I want to experience your grace, O Master. Thank you that you have poured out your love into my heart by your Spirit. We thank you, Father. Lord, I pray that let your love abound in us, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Let your love abound in our families. Let your love abound in our workplaces. Let your love abound in our church, Lord. Let your love overflow wherever we go. Lord, as we, as we go into the world, I pray that help us to carry your love amongst them. We thank you, Lord. We praise you. We trust you, Lord. You know our struggle loving someone. Lord, we pray that. Forgive us, Lord. Give us grace and strength. If anyone is struggling, Master, Lord, I pray that. Give the person needed grace and strength, Lord. Pour out your love into their hearts, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We receive God's love tonight. We receive God's love tonight. We receive God's blessings tonight. We receive God's peace tonight. We receive God's favor tonight. We receive God's healing tonight. We receive
saved, Lord, because we are your servants. We are your children, O oh Father. You love us so much, Lord. You demonstrated your love for us on the cross through your son, Jesus. We thank you, Master. Thank you that we could respond to that love, Lord, love of Jesus on the cross. We thank you for loving us. Help us to love you and love one another. As we journey through, Lord, help us to be alert, Lord. Help us to be strong in you. Help us to be strong in you and help us to help us to meditate on your word and help us to pray more and more so that our love for you and for one another may abound more and more and overflow from them. We thank you, Lord, we praise you. We give you all glory and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.